As global military combat and technical innovation grows, there is an increasing demand for equipment such as air, sea, and land vehicles to improve optimal military efficiency. The United States Army, on the other hand, has finally attained its future utility 300 mile per hour helicopter. The accelerated future long-range assault aircraft program aims to push past previous technological limits, ushering in a new era of aerial warfare potential. With features such as extraordinary speed, fuel-efficient engines, and a new generation of weapons, keep an eye out and pay attention as we demonstrate the incredible capabilities of the United States Army's futuristic 300-mile-per-hour helicopter. The United States Army's relentless need for a quick reconnaissance futuristic helicopter is finally achievable, as it flies a new helicopter that is twice as fast as the 150 mile an hour Black Hawk. This new, swift, and amazing air beast is breaking several strategic and tactical grounds in its preparation for future warfare and military missions. It surpasses its predecessors in terms of limitless agility, quick maneuvering skills, futuristic appearance, weapons, and targeting technologies. Wow, amazing, right? Well, this is just the tip of its quality compared to what it can do. This new Lightspeed Future Assault aircraft program intends to expand beyond previous technology's capabilities and enhance itself into a new era of aerial warfare and engagement which includes unprecedented speed, efficient fuel engines, sensors that can penetrate smoky and foggy environments, long-range with high-accuracy infrared targeting systems, self-intelligence flight capability, and a new advanced generation of weapons. This new futuristic helicopter is called the Bell 360 Invictus, Based on the initial examination, some immediate and generally discussed attributes are emphasized on its range and speed. The new aircraft, according to its developers Boeing and Sikorsky, can travel twice as fast and twice as far as the existing Black Hawk. This signifies a lot, such as speeds as fast as 300 miles per hour and a combat radius as much as 500 kilometers or more. These are performance levels expected to change air warfare in the very near future. Now, let us compare this new assault helicopter to the 30 years of experienced warfare aircraft, the Black Hawk. As a robust, dependable utility helicopter, the Black Hawk multi-role helicopter is used by the United States military and the armed forces of 28 other nations throughout the world. The United States Army makes use of the UH-60 Black Hawk for its primary medium lift utility transport and air assault aircraft. It's equipped with a twin engine, which makes it a medium utility aircraft. Unlike the new future aircraft with a speed of 300 miles per hour, the Black Hawk can move up to 150 miles per hour and still be able to get its job done. The Black Hawk rotor is equipped with a single four-bladed rotor and four single four-bladed tail rotors. The Black Hawk carries at most three crews, the pilot, co-pilot, and crew chief. The new future assault aircraft can carry up to seven crew and still perform excellently. The titanium cord rotor blades are resistant to anti-aircraft artillery and are equipped with pressurized sensors with a capability to detect any damage to the rotors. The Black Hawk has two non-movable main gear struts and a lockable tail wheel. It also uses a dragging wheel system on touchdown. It's equipped with rearward sliding and lockable doors on each part of the cargo chamber. The Black Hawk is equipped with two external wing-like assemblies. Each one is equipped with two removable pylons. They're 5,000 pounds each and can retain about 230 gallons of fuel. It's monstrously equipped with 16 Hellfire missiles on reserve, which gives the Black Hawk the ability to rearm itself during the mission. Talking about reserves, the aircraft is equipped with internal fuel which is stored in two rugged fuel tanks, which are about 360 gallons. The Black Hawk is also equipped with some communication radio, encrypted IFF recognition radio. To protect the assault aircraft, it's equipped with a radar warning receiver in addition to an infrared countermeasure system and flare dispenser. This 30-year-old machine had one flaw. It was not equipped with mass military weaponry for enemy engagement. It was, however, equipped with two pintle mouths. These pintle mouths can accept varieties of handheld weaponry, like the different types of massive machine guns. When the aircraft senses danger, it can unleash its 16 Hellfire missiles, as well as its folding fin air rockets, anti-air missiles, 
and area mines like the M56 equipped system. This aircraft is also equipped with two all-purpose electric T700 GE 401C turbo engines. They can each power up to 1800 horsepower. The Blackhawk can also be used to lift external cargo of about 9,000 pounds and in a dreaded situation can carry 20 light-armed infantries to the mission ground. Now, compare all we have said about the Blackhawk so far and multiply it by two, and then you'll get the mind-blowing equipment and qualities that 2030 United States Army's new assault and reconnaissance aircraft Invictus will possess. You must be stunned by all this, right? Well, so are we. Stay tuned and keep watching as we dig deeper into the qualities of the Invictus. A discussion was held last year concerning the FLRAA program. Brigadier General Walter Rugen, director of the VFL cross-functional team, told his interviewer that some of the technical breakthroughs with the new helicopter bring substantial new attack abilities, he said. We want the ability to operate the aircraft, conduct near-peer air assaults, and show up in places where the enemy does not expect us. Significantly, one major quality amongst the many innovations likely to draw more focus is how can this new beastly helicopter attain unprecedented speed with high fuel efficiency and adequate engine power sufficient enough to double ranges. This strategic and tactical capability completely changes warfare calculation. This deliberately grants them the ability to close in on the enemy by speedily delivering infantry soldiers, important medical support, supplies, and ammunition. Sikorsky Business Development Director Future Vertical Lift Jay Macklin said, If you think of what a Blackhawk does when inbound to an LZ, then picture a 2030 contested operational environment. We will be flying twice as far and twice as fast, but still have to be very maneuverable in and around the objective area. What can be the achievement of having such an increased combat functionality for modern warfare in the future? Maybe the degree of descent for a sonic speed air assault raid can be much steeper? It all comes down to maneuverability. This can give the aircraft the ability to be able to evade incoming enemy fire and speedily execute all its lower altitude missions at high speed, reducing any kind of risk. You can describe the United States Army futuristic helicopter as a more deadly, semi-autonomous, delicately stealthy, and twice the speed and range of the Black Hawk helicopter. But a further look into this beast makes this new assault aircraft more than meets the eye. We're bound to see more of its amazing capabilities and actions by 2030. This new aircraft is likely to assume various missions and double the ability of the Black Hawk, such as the utility missions like infantry transportation, medevac, cargo delivery, and many reconnaissance missions. The Invictus is likely to take an even broader mission scope because it's being slated for warfare in the 2030s and beyond. An Army report described this new aircraft as something which will supplement and not necessarily replace the Black Hawk. A few months ago, a report from the PEO Aviation said, this medium lift, tactical assault, and medical evacuation capability will augment the Army's H-60 Black Hawk utility helicopter fleet to provide combat aviation brigades with long-range, high-speed options that are survivable in contested environments. However, some of this current approach to maneuvering and speed includes focusing on yet another important criteria the Army sought after for the new aircraft. The Army wanted the aircraft to be able to operate in much more difficult conditions, meaning high hot conditions like 95 degrees Fahrenheit and 6,000 feet where thinner air can challenge helicopter operations. Wien concluded that it's astonishing to see that this new utility helicopter will be delivering infantry under enemy attacks and fire in 2030. The new assault and reconnaissance aircraft will be innovated with a beastly new level of speed, maneuvers, agility, and newly upgraded weapons to succeed in an entirely new sphere of intense sonic speed combat battles, both in the rural and urban areas. The FLRAA program is going to change and have a lot of impact in 2030 helicopters and other warfare vehicles of the United States Army. With this new aircraft, the United States Army will have moved one step further to high technological advancement and more efficient air reconnaissance results. What effect do you believe the United States Army's new fast 300 mile per hour chopper will have on future warfare? What advantages do you believe this new helicopter will offer to the U.S. economy? 
please leave your responses in the comment area below.